Welcome back to another day on the ranch. We are turning some totes, some big, uh, like 200, what's this, 225 gallon, 250 gallons. So we're gonna turn these totes into little goat sheds. Uh, you may have seen we did create one for Olaf uh, a couple weeks ago. Didn't record it, don't know why. Didn't think about it until after we were halfway done and it was dark outside. So today we are doing two more of them for the goats. Really, they're just not gonna have uh, the rooftop because we don't have any more or we don't have enough of the roof tiles kind of be bare bones um, But something to get the goats out of the weather give them some shelter <sighs> You're getting rid of all the nice decorations Yeah. Unbelievable. I know ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, what'd you do with Olaf? Left him back there oh. Well, he was in the pasture and he didn't want to come follow. Let's see if we can get this to stay steady so this one i'm thinking um basically we'll leave this bottom horizontal bar to create that lip that we didn't have before there we go beautiful There we go. And there's our beloved glue. <laughs> That's so crazy. So yeah, these are just full of dry glue. So we wouldn't want to use these for water or anything like that, uh, like rainwater catchment. Things like this, it works perfectly fine for. Dad's also thinking about using them for chopped wood. Putting firewood in them. Um, once, once we get a tractor, with forks yeah it'll be can fill those up and just real move nice them around nice. everywhere and not have to handle them again and same deal with uh, these for the goats uh, eventually when we get a tractor we'll be able to very easily pick them up move them around um, and that's one nice thing about these totes and you can go online you could find all kinds of different DIY uses for these things depending on where you're at you may be able to find some relatively cheap like dad was able to pick these up for $25 a piece five bucks uh, from what a furniture factory or something uh, a guy that makes uh, uh, adhesive glues for AstroTurf oh, so actually gluing down the AstroTurf companies get their materials in these types of containers and then they don't use them. So it's basically just garbage. They're looking to get rid of them. So you can typically find them uh, for a decent price. Uh, if you're looking for like food grade ones though, those can be a bit pricier. Sometimes I've seen them up to like 250 bucks a piece. Since the glue is dry, it just peels right out for the most part. Okay, so here they are finished. They're tipped up on their sides right now just because there was water in this tubing and so it's just draining out down there. We do have a bit of a ledge here on the bottom uh, to prevent hay and stuff from falling out because we are gonna throw hay in there to make that nice and comfy for the goats. Obviously, again, this would be flipped up uh, with this actually be the, being the bottom. Uh, but we're gonna leave this out because there is still some wet glue in the corners. So we're gonna let that stuff dry out and then we'll clean it out uh, the rest of the way in a couple of days. Um, and then we'll probably uh, pressure wash the insides as well. And then the final touches are gonna be pool noodle along all the edges where there's sharp stuff. Make sure that's nice and safe. And then there is this hole in the top. So we need to address that as well. I gotta figure out something, whether we just do a roof like we did on Olaf's or some way to seal that up. That went a lot faster than the other day. That went really quick. Amazing when you do it a second, third time, it goes much easier. Yeah, so yeah, this stuff should work pretty well. And again, it'll be a whole lot nicer when we've got a uh, tractor that we can start moving stuff around easy. Hi, Herms. You wanna say hi? Wanna say hi, buddy? And Thor probably wants to say hi. You want to say hi, buddy? What are we doing today, Thor? I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from. 
Since we cut up these IBC totes, we are now going to clean them out. Even got the pressure washer out here, so we're gonna spray it down. Uh, make sure all the glue residue is out of there. Right now, I need to get the totes over to the barn. They are right here, so <laughs> I've had this rope stuck on the golf cart here. Tied this to both totes, um, one end to each tote, so we'll see how these drag. Um, Cause they're not even dragging like right behind the golf cart. This one's kinda on the side and that one's kind of behind. So, we'll see. Oh, Dad, that worked. Yeah, it worked. Watch out, Thor. What's up? They're making noise. Well, working. It's working as I'd hope. A little bit loud. Now they're over here. I need them over here because this is where the hose is and the electricity to run the uh, pressure washer. Just sitting in here trying to get this last corner of glue out. And that is proving quite difficult. When you raise it for Water's up to my chin Won't stop fighting To the very end Maybe when I'm trying to reach it some um, zip ties. So I'm gonna basically just drill a hole through the corners and put a zip tie around them. Just told mom, I said that might run up and check with Ryan because we need to get the goat shelters done. <laughs> have you seen the weather? No. The hurricane we're supposed to have three to four inches between Friday through Sunday. Here? Yep. Dang. Yeah, with the, the rain coming very heavy. Gotcha. So what the girls need uh, hay bale for? What was that? What the girls need a hay bale for? Um, they needed to put it in the chicken tractor so that for small group on Thursday they can do photos. All the kids can go out and do photos. Oh. I saw him running up and I'm like, what are you guys doing? We're going to get a hay bale. They said, how are you going to get down there? And they said, we're going to roll it. Over the pool. Yeah. And he was not happy. He kept like spinning in circles, but boy, have lessons helped me because I was totally chill and like perfectly balanced the whole time. He was spinning in circles, getting all. Yeah, I saw he kept spinning in circles over here too. Yeah, he didn't want to go, but eventually he was like, well, I know I'm, I'm going. But when we went that way, and as soon as we hit the road, he was like, Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's like the track. It's what he wanted. The Amish horse in him, and now he doesn't want to go back. No. Nope. Definitely yeah, had a whole, like, arthritis. It's not bugging him one bit. No. That is not why he's not going. He's you go just on unsure too. back there. But once he was where he wanted to be, he's not good. an issue. You mean walking backwards gotcha. up the hill? Yeah. I had, I had to walk him backwards up the hill because we went down by the range to go around, like, yeah. the backside. He did not. That freaked him out. He was like, I'm not going down there. And so, circle after circle, and eventually, as he's circling, he starts walking backwards. So, eventually, he ends up. <laughs> Boy, 